Hey, it's Eric G. Around the House is sponsored by Baldwin Hardware. For 75 years, Baldwin Hardware has been known for its first class quality and craftsmanship in door and cabinetry hardware. As an alumnus of the Baldwin Hardware Design Council, I can say I have seen the details and quality from design to the finished product. If you're looking for a new style and old world craftsmanship, I can tell you there is only one Baldwin Hardware. Check out what would look great in your home at baldwinhardware.com. It's around the house. So your flame detector responds to flame instantly, alerting you to a fire much faster and helping prevent devastating fires from occurring. So this sensor will detect a three quarter inch flame at 20 feet within two seconds. It gives you notifications on your phone as well as a loud local alarm. And basically the flame detector sensors aren't activated by burnt toast, steam, dust, and it sees the whole room. So it's 130 degrees of flame detecting coverage and the three AA batteries run for over a year. So you can easily add other flame detection units for whole house protection. I'm gonna have these guys on the show here one of these days and we're gonna talk about it. I wanna go through and test this thing here. But I tell you what, you can head over to flamedetector.com when it comes to remodeling and renovating your home, there is a lot to know, but we've got you covered. This is Around the House. Welcome to the Around the House Show, the next generation of home improvement brought to you by my friends at Monument Grill. If you are looking for a killer barbecue that's affordable, check them out at monument.com. Today, we're gonna to be talking about home technology that makes your home safer. And this is stuff out there that you can add. Most of this is super easy. Plug and play. You might have to hook it up to a Wi-Fi at your house and then plug it in the wall or put some batteries in it and off you go. And there is some killer technology out there that can really detect some big problems before they happen. Or if it's happening, it's really small and it gives you time to react. And that to me is very exciting. And I just got a new one in this last week that we're going to try. It's the first one we're going to talk about right now. This is an interesting product. It's from iDetect Flame Detector. Yes, this is something that detects open flame. It's not a smoke detector. It is a flame detector. So the home flame detector, a game changer in fire detection. So this is a little unit that you hook up to Wi-Fi in your house, put it on the wall, takes three AA batteries. I've got it hooked up in my garage right now. I'm giving it a test. And this developed by a leading edge team of scientists and fire detection engineers. So this cutting edge residential flame detector is the only product of its kind in the market today. So it's designed to detect open flame. So your flame detector responds to flame instantly, alerting you to a fire much faster and helping prevent devastating fires from occurring. So this sensor will detect a three quarter inch flame at 20 feet within two seconds. It gives you notifications on your phone as well as a loud local alarm. And basically the flame detector sensors aren't activated by burnt toast, steam, dust, and it sees the whole room. So it has 130 degrees of flame detecting coverage and the three AA batteries run for over a year. So you can easily add other flame detection units for whole house protection. I'm gonna have these guys on the show here one of these days, and we're going to talk about it. I want to go through and test this thing here, but I tell you what, you can head over to flamedetector.com and for 120 bucks, they got this thing dialed in. So this is really a cool thing. So what's cool is in theory, and I'm going to test this yourself. You could have a, a child on the backside of a couch, sit there and light a match, and it's going to catch the reflection of the light that that puts out, the infrared light, and it is going to detect that from my understanding. And so totally different than a smoke detector. And where you've got thousands of home fires started by children each year, more, the, more than half of those fires originate in the bedroom. So with Flame Detector and the guys there at uh, I Detect, the moment the child lights a match or any visible flame is sensed, a loud alarm is produced and a push notification is sent to your smart device telling you exactly where the fire has started. So seconds count on this and it works really good. Smoke alarms, you know how they work. They uh, actually detect small particles of smoke or combustion 
and they got to travel in the room in front of the smoke detector along the, in front of those sensing chambers before alarming. So if it's not big enough or if it's far enough away, it's not going to see it. So this is a much simpler way as far as how this goes. 129 bucks on their website. I'll put it in the show notes if you're listening on the podcast, but flamedetector.com. And that is a very cool product. And again, this is where new technology is taking us these days. And it's something that's really, really exciting. I'm going to play around with mine a little bit. I've got it hooked up, set up. Took me literally 30 seconds. Hit the button. It hooks up. You have an app on your phone and off you go. And it sits there and basically just scans the room 24-7 looking for open flame. And I like that you put batteries in it, but it lasts for years. So you can get some of those really cool like coast rechargeable ones. And uh, put those in there, and you're never going to be throwing batteries away. You just put it in the USB-C to recharge it, and off you go. So this is something cool, something brand new on the market right now. So breaking news, check this thing out. I think it's going to be the latest in home safety, and that's a big one right there. Now, one of my favorite ones out there as far as electrical safety is my friends over at Ting Fire. And Ting is one of those things that I just absolutely love. Now, this monitors your home electrical system. So what's cool is this is electrical fire safety simplified is what this is. So what you do is you hook this thing up to your Wi-Fi again in your home and you plug it into the wall and you've got your app and this is simple proven protection. So if you have any hidden electrical hazards, maybe it's a loose wire and an outlet or you've got something else going on where there's a short or a, a wire that's starting to get out of control, this is going to detect that before you have a problem. So it's giving you a continuous electrical hazard detection. So it's like a fitness tracker for your electrical system. So super easy, no electrician needed to install. It literally plugs into an outlet and it's going to monitor everything from your house all the way up to the power pole. And again, this is super cool technology and exciting stuff. So what you do is you plug it in and uh, it just monitors. You have an app. And so that app, you could open up anytime. It's like having an electrician in your home 24-7. It's looking at everything. It's checking the volts, where the low and the high is to make sure that the voltage is correct. And it's also monitoring everything else. So if you've got any kind of a problem, it's going to detect weird things in your electrical. So... It also is checking your power quality coming in. So if you had um, an ice storm or a wind storm and you're getting low voltage, it's going to tell you that before you burn up your HVAC system or your refrigerator or something like that. And here's the cool thing. Not all of the of course, not all of these hazards require an electrician. However, they give you a thousand dollar credit for remediation so they can figure out what happened. And so that's what's really cool. So there are a lot of different things here that this works with. If you've got some of those bad stab connections in the back of a of an electrical outlet in your in your 1980s or 90s home, and you've got something there or a bad electrical panel that's maybe been recalled, or maybe you just have a very old house that you're concerned about, this is something you can literally plug in. And to get more information there, go over to Ting, T-I-N-G, fire.com. And here's one thing that I think that's really cool. And there's a lot of cool things about that that work. But what I like about it is, is that there are a lot of different, instead of you having to go buy it, there's a lot of insurance companies. If you talk to your homeowner's insurance agent that will actually buy this for you and send it to you. So that is what's really cool. So I think that's really awesome that companies like State Farm, Nationwide, Pure Insurance, Westfield, Ohio Mutual Insurance Group, Philadelphia Contributorship have programs for this. And this was a winner of the Good Housekeeping Home Reno Awards for 22 and 23. And so it's a hundred bucks, but many times you can get that free with your insurance. And that is super cool. And if you can do something like that, that is going to prevent an electrical fire in your home, and make sure that you're getting quality electrical through the grid safety of this. And I've had power outages. It will tell me that my power is down when at home. If I'm outside running around and it detects a power outage, it'll go, your power's off, partner. Better go take a look at it and get that taken care of. So these are all great things in home technology 
that really can save lives. And I think that's what's really cool about some of this tech. Everything here between the flamedetector.com and of course here at Ting Fire, both of these are super cool for preventing serious problems. And I like that. We're gonna have more of these home technology that makes your home much safer just as soon as Around the House returns. Don't go anywhere. It's Eric G from Around the House Show. I wanted to introduce you to one of our new sponsors. Monument Grills was founded by three good friends in Atlanta, Georgia that wanted high quality durable grills inspired by iconic monuments. The grills are created for the person who loves to cook and are built to last and to enhance your outdoor cooking experience. What I love is that they are the best quality grills for under $900. So check out the American Gas Grill experts at monumentgrills.com. I bet you'll love to cook on one like I do. Check out the new standard in outdoor cooking at monumentgrills.com. Hey guys, it's Eric G and I have a special offer for you. Do you want to get the podcast a couple days early? How about extended content that isn't in the typical podcast? Maybe you want to check out all the back episodes of the show. And I got a special deal for the first 10 days are free. I want to personally invite you to be an around the house insider for about four bucks a month. You can get exclusive extended episodes, early access to the weekend show and exclusive access to me, Eric G for project questions or comments. Check on the link on your podcast player in the show notes or head to aroundthehouseonline.com and look for the join here button. Make sure and sign up today. As always, thanks for tuning in to Around the House. What's up? This is Sticks at Inya. And Satchel from Steel Panther. And you are listening to Around the House with Eric G. Yeah. We love Eric G and you should too. show the next generation of home improvement presented by our friends over at monument grills if you want to find a great grill for football season this year if you're out shopping around check them out at monumentgrills.com we're talking about here home technology that makes your home safer before we get to that if you want to find out more information about me eric g and around the house show i don't care if you're listening on the radio or if you're on the podcast youtube streaming whatever you're doing check us out and aroundthehouseonline.com. And of course, our YouTube channel, which is Around the House Show, where we've got a lot of video content, as well as Around the House Northwest, our uh, TV show here in the Pacific Northwest that we do every single week. Our next one here that we're talking about is home security. And this does make things safer. And these are my friends over at Deep Sentinel Home Security. And this is where technology takes a new turn to keep your house safe. This is something that I think is revolutionary in home security products. Now, here's what I like about Deep Sentinel. It's really the only system out there with the guards are included in the whole system. Now, here's how this works. Basically, it uses artificial intelligence with a camera system around the perimeter of your building. So if you're a homeowner, you would put these around uh, the entrances into your home, maybe four corners, depending on how your house is laid out. You would put these around the perimeter of your house or your small business. They make business systems as well. But what it does is it uses artificial intelligence here to take a look at how people approach your home. So if your Amazon delivery driver or the FedEx delivery driver starts walking up the door It'll go, hey, person detected, and then it automatically takes a live guard that is looking at your home to take a peek at it. And that live guard can go, oh, cool, that's a delivery driver dropping off a package. They'll send you a little notification that says, hey, package delivered on your front porch so you can get it. And then off it goes. Here's the difference. If someone else is walking up to your front door and goes peeking in the living room window or the side garage door or wherever you have somebody snooping around. Now you have a guard coming up going deep set, no security. How can I help you? And you have a real person assessing the situation before they break into your home. And I think that is what's super cool about this technology is you don't have to worry about somebody busting a window out first. You've already got somebody looking at it. And so it eliminates that whole 
worry about a false alarm. Now, if you come walking up to your house and maybe you drop your keys and it takes a minute, yeah, they're going to go deep Sentinel Home Security can help you. And you go, hey, I'm the owner. You give your passcodes and all that stuff. Not a big deal. And they tell you to have a great day. Now, the difference with the security as well is if it's going out into your driveway, let's say, and you're worried about somebody sneaking up, pulling up, and maybe stealing the catalytic converter off your car, or you're just worried about going to work in the morning or coming home at night in your neighborhood, you now have a security guard watching over you as you're exiting and entering your vehicle, which I think is great security. And then on top of that, they have the ability to fast track into the local 911 system to actually get somebody coming. Now, here's the difference. If you have with most I'll say most police departments, because you just don't know across the country. We've got people that'll show up in 30 seconds and some people that'll show up in 30 days. And it's just depending where you are at in between there and what city you're in. But really, here's what it's about. If you're sitting there and they call, they have 140 decibel, I believe, siren that goes off on it. So they know that's happening. They can call into the police and say, hey, we've got a six foot tall, 230 pound bearded tattoo guy poking around this house and he's wearing a black shirt, black pants and a ponytail. The police know what they're looking for versus some automated alarm system saying window 22 alarm code. Nobody has any idea what that is. And it's probably a cat, a pet or something happened or somebody didn't get a door shut correctly or whatever. And that could be easily a false alarm. So with this, you really don't see that, that whole thing. Now, deep Sentinel security has taken it a completely new direction. And I think this is super cool. So they have a flashbang set up for it. Yes. So when the criminals get nasty, you can get revenge. Subdue intruders with pepper spray, smoke bombs, and then you can do strobes and sirens. And so they have a flashbang set up for you small business people. And if you're in a big crime area, that could work really, really well. So this is going to eliminate or chase away most of those smash and grab burglaries, armed robberies, shattered windows, any of these things that happen around, it's really going to be seriously different. If you've got a business, let's say, and someone comes walking into the entryway of it and they've already broken in, the guard goes, oh my gosh, this person's busted through the door. You could sit there and that guard can hit pepper blast to shut them down. And maybe that's going to work. In that same space, you could also have the smoke bomb to impair and disorient. And so that is a two-step deployment system, but they make it so the live guards can do in that. They've got uh, high decibel sirens coming soon, strobe lights coming soon. So they've got a whole new layer of this for people out there. And I think it's a really cool system. And I have uh, one of the versions at my house here. And I tell you what, it has been an amazing situation here. With this, I don't have a lot of crime in my neighborhood. I do have a lot of expensive tools and things like that. And even though they're well insured, I do have a great security system around the outside for that very reason. And so that's why I think Deep Sentinel is such a cool thing for people out there. And if you're in a neighborhood where crime is getting out of control, I think this is a easy, non-evasive way to do this in protecting your home and at least be able to deter people away. And if you want to find more about these guys, of course, go on YouTube and look, they've got hundreds of instances over there for them where they actually go through and show you from the video on the high quality of video. It's like watching your own TV show on there of stupid criminals trying to break in and these guys shutting them down and them running away. So it's really cool. But if you want more information about them and none of these guys are paying me here today, guys, none of these people are sponsored the show. These are just things that I want to expose people to, to give answers out there. And this is a little bit more expensive. It's not going to be your cheapest solution, but I think it's going to be your best solution out there and track these guys down at deep sentinel, S E N T I N E L.com. And you can check them out over there. Really cool stuff. I just absolutely love what these guys are doing. And they keep innovating around your house. Now, having a security system like that, I think, is really smart. And if you pair that in with some of the other things that you have here around your house, you start stacking things on top of the house here as far as maybe having your electrical security, the fire prevention, security there for people breaking in. I think this is all great technology that we just didn't have a few years ago. And these are things that I think are going to really help us out 
keeping ourselves a little more secure and a little more safe. Now, when we come back, I've got some other new tech out that's really making things safer around the house. Not as serious as this stuff here, but really cool stuff that you can start adding to make life a little bit more secure, a little bit safer, and things that can actually help you from having big insurance claims as well. And we'll get into that a little bit later into the show. But these are things that can really prevent disasters. And I think that's super important in today's age where things are getting more expensive and not as easy to fix these days as well. Around the house, we'll be right back after these important messages. Don't go anywhere. Hey, it's Eric G from Around the House. Are you tired of low quality water in your home? Do you have bad tasting water? How about chemicals, minerals, and a hard water scale tearing up your bathrooms, appliances, and your water heater? I have a great solution for you. It's time you stop the damage and check out King Water Filtration. This water treatment system takes care of every drop of water that comes into your home. It uses no salt, no expense filters to change, and it's made right here in the USA. Plus, it prevents hard water scale. To find out more information, head to kingwaterfiltration.com. And if you use promo code ERIC-23, it will give you $1,000 off MSRP with a discount on a filter that will resolve those water quality issues. Don't miss out on this amazing sale on a product made right here in the USA at kingwaterfiltration.com. That's kingwaterfiltration.com. And don't forget promo code ERIC-23. Hey, it's Eric G from Around the House. If you're enjoying the Around the House show, make sure and hit that subscribe button on the podcast player you're listening to right now. To find out more about Around the House show, head to aroundthehouseonline.com. And of course, thanks for listening to Around the House. Hey, this is Ron Keel, the metal cowboy from Keel, the Ron Keel band and stealer. We are rocking around the house with Eric G. Raise your fist, make your stand. Around the house show is brought to you by Pyramid Heating and Cooling. Serving in Oregon, the Portland metro area, and Bend, Oregon, they are your one-stop shop for heating and cooling and indoor air quality. To find out more, head to PyramidHeating.com, Oregon CCB 593A2. Welcome back to the Around the House show, the next generation of home improvement, brought to you by my friends over at Monument Grills. If you're out grill shopping this fall, coming into football season, you're ready to be tailgating, check these guys out at Mon.com. All their grills are under 900 bucks, which means there's a ton of value packed into no matter what size of grill you're looking for. So check them out, MontyMcGrills.com. We've been talking about home technology that makes your home safer. And we were talking about products in the last segment here. If you're just joining us, we we're talking about Ting Fire that monitors your electrical system to help prevent electrical fires by monitoring that with shorts and things like that. Deep Sentinel Home Security, where they've got basically guards watching your house 24-7 and flamedetector.com where they've got a new technology out there that can actually put on your wall and it's going to detect open flame within two seconds. Something totally trick. Now, the next one here is an interesting product. If you are building a safe room, if you are in an area that has a little more violence in it, let's say, we'll just keep it from being too negative. Have you ever heard of ballistic drywall or Bullet-resistant sheetrock is a wide range of bullet-resistant materials that really have changed how people build safe rooms or maybe the front of their home if they have concerns about stray bullets in their neighborhood. So it is interesting. We have bullet-resistant glass that came out in the 1900s, but really there are bullet-resistant drywalls out there that are really interesting. They come in four by eight sheets and you're going to mount it in there depending on the specifications you're looking for, but it works out really well for installation inside the home. So if you want to put something like that around a a bedroom or the kid's bedroom or across the front or the side or the back of the house, it's probably going to be a little bit more expensive than drywall. But if you're trying to build a secure place in a little rougher neighborhood, I think it's pretty smart to have something like that if you're in the same at that same location. So not too bad. Each sheet can cost from hundreds to thousands of dollars. So 
use it sparingly depending on what you're trying to look for. So be very careful out there with the stuff, but uh, there's a lot of different products out there. There's also uh, bullet resistant panels that will slide in behind the sheathing and then you insulate. So there's a lot of different materials out there. If you're trying to build something that is going to be more hardened as far as crime in your neighborhood. So something to think about, not for everybody by any means, but for somebody out there, I'm sure it'll get you at least looking. Where I found out more about this, I found it over at libertyshielding.com. And they have different panels like that that are made to hold up to that kind of environment. Next up here is something that I think is really interesting. And you can get these in different grades, of course. But if you head over to Amazon or your local hardware store might have something like this. But really, I found the most of these selections on Amazon. These are plug-in natural gas detectors. So you can put this in next to natural gas appliances, any place that you have. And they do like propane and all the different stuff like that. But they detect the presence of gas. And so instead of having to worry about maybe a dog that's hitting the range and turn the gas on or the cat or anything like that, or the kids, you can put these in the rooms and it will alert you that there is a natural gas issue or a propane issue or any kind of a gas like that, that is flammable, depending on the ones you got. And some of these here, depending on the ones you have, it could be 20 or 30 bucks for one of these to plug right in. So it's not a bad little deal. And so that's an important one out there for people to take a look at. And I do think that there is some sense to that and it can tell you what's going on. Now, if you're worried about it, you're like, I don't want to have all these ugly things plugged in my wall. Totally get it. They do make handheld units that you can take around and run by there. I've tested them here on my less test. It's that kind of stuff that I did for the TV show, but they work really well at detecting any kind of a flywheel gas. And you can go around, walk around the, the, the range and the gas appliances, that kind of stuff. If you are worried about having a gas leak, at your house and you go, I think I've got one. What's your best answer? Just call your natural gas company. They will send somebody out. When in doubt, go turn it off at the meter. But if you have a leak, just call them up, get them over there, turn the gas off outside. That's something you should know in your residence, how to turn the gas off. And uh, I always recommend as long as it's not in a public place, like it's an alleyway or you're, I don't want anybody messing with it. But uh, one thing you can do if you're worried about this, you know, always have a place where that shutoff wrench is so you can get at it. I actually put on my house, I installed recently a earthquake shutoff valve. So if the house shakes, then it's naturally going to shut it off and I can go back and inspect the system and go back. So that is really smart. So that is, again, something that's really easy to put on your home. And a couple hundred bucks for the valve, not too bad. And you could have a plumber come out and do it for you. If you know what you're doing, you can do it. But there are some rules to follow with that. But natural gas shutoff valve for earthquakes, if you're in a seismic area, is smart. I think that's really important to have. And it's really easy to reset it. So you don't have to worry about that. If you accidentally bump up against it or something like that, you can reset it. But really, you don't want to reset that thing if you've had a seismic event until you've inspected the home to make sure that it's all working correctly and not leaking, because that's the last thing you need is something to be leaking like that. So those are really good to take a look at. Now, as far as home tech that I like, there is a smoke detector, carbon monoxide detector that is really slick that I like, and that is the Google Nest Protect. This is, yeah, it's a hundred and something box, depending on where you get it, but it is a voice activated smoke and carbon monoxide detector. And what I like about it is, is it warns you audibly. You don't have to get a ladder to get up and turn it off. You can use your phone to reset it. And it also tells you on the phone that you've got an emergency. So let's say you've got teenagers in the house, you're at the office and the kids forgot that they're doing something on the stove because they're playing video games and it's burning away on the stove and this is going off. You as the parent who has that hooked up into your phone on that app, it's going to tell you that the alarm's going off so you can deal with it as well as it's going to give the audible stuff inside the home. And the thing that I do like about it is if you're cooking, for instance, it's going to say smoke detected saying, hey, I'm about ready to go off. I, I sense a little bit. Are you cool with this? And then that gives you time to grab your phone and reset it. So if I'm inside the house and I'm barbecuing, 
on my flat top griddle, for instance, on my stove, and I don't have the hood high enough up in the wintertime because it's nasty outside and I didn't want to get out there and get wet or frozen or the wind is too crazy to be barbecuing, then I have to make sure to keep an eye on that because sometimes that will go off and that's a great fix it for that. So take a look at that. That's a great system. Now, the one thing that I want to look for when I'm looking at carbon monoxide detectors is that some of these units on the market out there try to get the widest range detected of carbon monoxide because no amount is safe for you. But the problem is, is some of these sensors that you see out there aren't as sensitive. So make sure that you can find the widest range. If you go deep dive into the specs, make sure that you're getting the best product for that. So that's a really, really good one there. So take a look at that and make sure that you find the widest range. If you're out shopping, you can't decide which one to get. Make sure you get the uh, widest range possible. I want that thing to detect and go off as early as possible because I want to deal with it then versus dealing with it when I have to go around and go, oh, wow, I didn't know it was this bad, but it wasn't bad enough to set off the alarm. It wasn't going to kill me, but it could still make you sick. So something to think about when you're working with that. All right. When we come back, we're going to talk some more smart home tech here that is affordable, easy, and I think smart stuff to have around your house that just will make things a little bit easier for you. It's going to save on electricity. And of course, it's going to make it easier to move around your house, depending as we get in these days where it's getting darker outside. I've got the answer for you. More great household tips on Around the House with Eric G. right after the break. show the next generation of home improvement brought to you by my friends over at monument grill if you're looking for that new grill this fall check them out at monumentgrills.com we've been talking about home technology that makes your home safer and one of the ones here that i really like and this is something that'll help save you money and give you an idea what's going on around your house is a home energy monitoring system called sense and here's what's cool is this will tell you where your energy usage as far as electricity is going and what's costing you the most around the house. Now, it's also going to tell you if something is running more than it should be by chance. If you're looking at it here going, oh, my inside refrigerator is doing well, but my outside refrigerator, my beer fridge in the garage that's older is using three or four times the energy. What's going on there? I better take a look. Or if you've got a recirculating pump or a, geez, maybe you got a sump pump in the basement or crawl space. Maybe you've got something there and you go, wow, this thing's just on forever. Maybe I have a problem. So there's some cool sensing technology with this. It's going to tell you what's going on. Like, for instance, last week, what did I do? It was time here. I was late summer. I'm like, it's time to drain my hot tub, put fresh water in it. I got an alert saying, hey, you're always on this last week was way more expensive by what's going to cost you $3. And I went, oh, that's because I had to heat water in there for that hot tub. So that cost me about three bucks to heat that water up. And those are things you see. That makes sense. But otherwise you'd go, what's, what's on in my house? Why am I using more electricity than the week before? What happened? So it really lets you think. And what this does is this actually goes into your electrical panel, guys. And you hook this up. And you can have an electrician do it. If you're capable with electrical, you can do it as well. And it uses your Wi-Fi signal. There's a couple leads that go around the main power lines that come in. And then it powers itself off another breaker. You just basically take the little low power thing and tap it into another breaker on there. And off you go. And this is what's really cool about this. So it will tell you minute by minute, second by second, what's going on. And then it uses AI to listen to the electrical signals going on. Now, each appliance, light fixture, everything else gives a little feedback into that system, your electrical system, to, to let you know, hey, it just automatically creates that noise. This reads those noises and goes, I know that noise. That's the water heater. Oh, that's the dryer. That's the 
AC unit. That's the rice cooker. You see where I'm going with this. And so it starts to go through and tell you what's going on. Like right now, I can grab my phone, take a look, and I'm like, oh, my AC compressor is on. My always on is, wow, 1,064 watts right now with my AC cranking, lights on in the house, a couple other things going on. I'm at 200 watts right now. And that's because I have a lot of other things going on. And I can go down and look and see that, oh, wow, here's what my always on are. And I can see what's being used. And so that's telling me right here what's going on. And so I've got a TV on, my computer's on, which you're hearing me use right here. And so all of these things add up. It goes down and figured out that there was a hair straightener on earlier. Probably wasn't mine, must have been my wife's, but you see where I'm going with that. And it tells you what is being used and it goes through and really checks to see what's going on. So it's really cool how that whole thing works. This can detect things being on too much as well as help you understand what your next electrical bill is going to be if you put that data into the app. So no privacy concerns with this kind of stuff. It's just monitoring the electrical use. And this isn't for the electrical police by any means, but this is something that tells you what's going on there. So check it out. Sense, S-E-N-S-E. -E. I've been to their labs in Cambridge when I was back there in Boston. Super cool stuff. Great technology to understand where your money's going with your power bill. So that's super cool. Now, one of the things I wanted to talk about that was teasing here is changing out some of your light fixtures or light switches, really, so that power the fixtures to go make them smart. Now, I know there's people out there going, man, I don't want this. Here's where this makes sense. If you go around and change out the ones that control maybe your exterior lights, maybe a garage lights, maybe it is the lights for a staircase, or places that you would normally kind of work around in the house, you can have these set to automate and turn on. What, what I mean by that is if you set these things up, you can actually make it through a smart home system. You can hook these things up and actually use them to control. Here's why I like this. And this is, again, up to you. But where it makes sense to me is I can, when I'm going to bed, I can hit the goodnight button and it turns off all the lights that I don't want on at night. It goes into the ones that I want on, and I have it automated to do that. So I can hit that button. If I go to bed the same time every night, I can have it do it after I go to bed. I can have it turn on stuff in the morning. If you want a nightlight on, it'll go to that setting. And I set that up all through my smart things hub that I have in my house. And so I did that with my Lutron Casita switches. You can get them at the home center. You can get them on Amazon. They're an easy way to do this, and they work with a lot of different lights. You always have to make sure when you're putting in smart lights, that you've, if you're putting in smart switches, sorry, that they control the lights, you need to make sure that those bulbs are compatible. Sometimes you will run into problems with that, and that can be very frustrating, but technology for that is getting better and better and better. So something to think about there. Now, this next one on my list is super important, and I think... If you've got an older home or even a newer home, this can make a lot of sense. And this is one of these smart water controllers for your home. Now, hear me out before you go, oh my gosh, something else smart. This can be cool. This goes in line as water comes into your house. You hook this up. It is going to detect and look for broken water pipes. So with this, it detects pipe breaks, leaks, frost, and high water consumption and gives you 24 seven security and will shut the water off. If it goes, we got a problem, Houston, it'll do that for you. Now there's a lot of different products out there. There is Moen. There's another four or five companies. Another one that I like here is the growy one. And I think the growy one is probably the smartest one out there. And that is the growy sense smart guard water controller. Now it is a little bit more money than the other ones, but I think it's really the smartest in how it works. And I think that's cool. So what they do is it basically just mounts in, in line. And if it detects things are, if it goes, hey, it's cold down here, it's getting cold, it's freezing. It's going to start looking at this going, okay, we got a problem. What are we worried about? So it's going to notice a dripping trap, a dripping tap, sorry, burst pipes, leaking pipes, frozen pipes, all of that stuff. And so it has aqua block, which shuts off the water supply automatically. 
in case of a burst pipe, it will tell you leakages. If it's going, hey, you're using a little bit more water than you should be. There's always water running here. We've got a problem. It detects unusual water flow. It has aqua alarm. So you could actually put different sensors out there to make sure that if you've got a water issue, it will say, hey, we got a problem. So if you, you can do that. And it will also tell you if there's a frost risk and water remains available as it's normally open if the power goes out. So if you lose power, it doesn't go, oh, shuts off. Its default is open, which is important. So that's a key right there. And so it can also tell you how much water you're using. And it also has a Aqua IQ, which is a self-learning algorithm, ensures that all alerts and actions are perfectly adapted to match your household consumption. So these are all super important things for using stuff around the house here. So you can make sure that you don't have a big issue with your water like that, which I think is super cool that that can really help you out as far as having a, a product that's going to stop water going all over the place, flooding your house. And I, I've had too many homes as an interior designer by 30 years of interior design, luxury kitchen, a bath design, and just regular kitchen, a bath design guys, where people had a three-story house, not like it was some big mansion, but they had the laundry at the top where the master bedroom was. And they went on vacation, were gone for the week, and the water hose behind the washer failed. And guess what happened? That water garden hose ran for a week, destroyed the house. They were out of that house with a flood all the way up to the top floor for just for almost a year. And that was one of those things you look at and go, man, that's crazy expensive for them to be out there. And a product like this would have prevented that amount of damage. And the cool thing too, is this has its Ondas app. So there's an app that works with this too, that'll let you know. All right, guys, that's the end of this hour here. Thanks for tuning into Around the House. If you want to find out more about us here and our YouTube videos and everything else, just head over to aroundthehouseonline.com. I appreciate every single one of you out there. Make sure that you are following us on social media. We now have a TikTok. We now have a better YouTube presence out there. Check all those things out. Thanks for tuning in to Around the House. We'll see you next week. Somewhere unseen and undiscovered Anywhere beyond the mean Life is a love song, let's be lovers We're all over the radio Take my Hey, it's Eric G with Around the House. Are you looking to grow your business? Need a spokesperson for your company? Maybe an MC for an upcoming trade show? Or maybe you want to up your game and shoot some promotional videos? My team of experts would love to chat with you. Head to aroundthehouseonline.com and fill out the contact us form, and we'll set something up. Thanks for listening to Around the House.